Today's video is not going to be a very happy one, but it needs to be talked about. But before we get into that, please like the video, share the video far and wide, leave a comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you not get notified when I post and go live. And let's get into it. Now, you guys may remember Amanda Todd. She uh, was a teenager who unfortunately, due to relentless bullying online, took her own life <clears throat> back in 2012. And her family, along 11 other families, uh, one of which is also another Canadian family, are making a class action lawsuit against social media platforms like Meta, Snapchat, etc., to tackle the online bullying of their children. Now, this is a big problem. There is an insane amount of bullying going on between kids online. It's crazy because kids are horrible to each other. They are awful. This is why we have to teach children not to be sociopaths because Children have no, like, they, we, we have to teach them everything. We have to show them morals. We have to show them what's right and wrong. They, they don't just know it. They're not just small adults, right? We have to teach them all this stuff. And we seem to have forgotten that. And before we go any further, I would like to just stop right now and say this is not a video that is going to be blaming any of the parents of these kids uh, who have either lost their lives or have had physical or mental trauma. Um, social media is a monster that we all kind of created and we all really don't understand, right? My point in making this video is to say, I don't think that suing these platforms is going to do what needs to be done. I think what needs to be done is these parents need to pressure American and Canadian governments to legislate that children under 16 cannot be on, on social media. Like there is no like work around or anything like it, it, their parent can't create an account for you. But like, no, if you're under 16, no, so no social media, like n just like driving or drinking or smoking. Right. Because <clears throat> kids are forgetting how to talk to each other in person. Kids are forgetting how to um, just socialize. And am I going to sit here and say that getting kids off social media through legislation is going to stop bullying? No. No, I'm not that naive, right? I know bullying is always going to be a problem. It always has been. Right. Throughout human history, even before we had written language, there was always the asshole in the tribe that fucked with people. Right. Always. Always. And there always will be. But I think that children need to kind of re integrate with society and reintegrate with each other and I think these parents should be leading the charge not in punishing the social media platforms because you know yeah sure punish them right give them a penalty but also use this as a jumping off point to legislate kids off social media because we, they don't need to be on screen. Like they're already on screens watching shows and shit way more than they should be. Right. We, we don't need them on Snapchat. We don't need them on TikTok. We don't need them on Instagram. I don't care that there's 
teen Snapchat or teen Facebook or kids messenger, it's still, it's still sucking the life out of our kids and making Facebook pay you is not going to not make it suck the life out of our kids right we need we need the government we we don't need the government we need to push the government to legislate kids off social media cuz the government is in, is is employed by us right not the other way around so we need to be going hey government do your job and this is one of those things that would be considered their job because this is, you know, this is something that is actually a problem. So yes, punish, punish the platform. But I say also legislate kids off of social media until 16. That's, that's what I say. Until you're able to get your driver's license and make medical decisions for yourself, you shouldn't be able to post willy nilly online. Because kids just don't fucking understand what they're posting stays forever. Some adults don't understand that. But they're adults. Right? Their brains have fully developed, so they're on their own. Kids, on the other hand, are not. So, that's my thoughts on this whole situation. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think... Uh, a lawsuit against social media giants is enough. Do you think kids should not be allowed online till they're 16 like I do? Do you think, um, what, like, what do you think? Tell me. Engage. What, what do you think about this? Like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell so you know when I post and go live. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.